back to the channel. I'm Michelle. And I'm Ken, and today we're here to talk about The Munsters, written and directed by Rob Zombie and currently on Netflix. So are you excited to talk about The Munsters? Um, if I'm being honest, I'm not. You're not? It's also on Blu-ray, but it's not in theaters. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be a fun one to mm -hmm. talk about. Like I oh, said, yeah. written it's and open. directed by Rob Zombie. I'm a huge Rob Zombie fan. Clearly. Um, clearly. I mean, I like some of his movies. But anyway, before we get into it, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We talk about movies and television all the time. Good, At least, what, bad. three, four times a week? Something like that? Yeah, on a good on a good week. <laughs> on a good week. Yeah, you know, we talk about House of Dragons. We do entertainment news live streams. We're doing a Chucky series right now. Yep. So all kinds of stuff. Hit the subscribe button. Also, be sure to like this video and comment down below. We want your we want your thoughts, your honest thoughts on the monsters. What what have you been seeing out there? People saying about the monsters. Uh, it's kind of a joke. It's easy to joke on this movie. It's low hanging fruit. Mm. I feel like I've kind of seen a little bit of everything. Yeah, but mostly I've kind of seen that it's not that bad. Yeah. Um. Which I, I I have seen that a lot. I feel like people are being very nice. Yeah. They're being very nice. This movie. It's like usually people wouldn't be that nice. Mm -hmm. Um. But for some reason, this movie is making people a lot nicer than I feel like they they well, usually are. I feel are. like I mean we'll just get into it. I feel like people are i guess appreciating it for what it is yeah. um which is always a good thing and you know probably also a lot of people well this could also be a bad thing but i was gonna say people being nostalgic on the uh you know tv show yeah did you grow up watching the monsters i did yeah um i mean i don't remember watching it like religiously or anything but i do remember watching it you know yeah it is there. weird because i think it was on like nick at night or something right and tv yeah. land and i remember watching it all the time when i was a kid i never watched the classic adams family never watched that show but gotcha. i grew up on those movies i love the movies but yeah. i never watched I, that I remember watching, classic show yeah i remember watching the monsters bewitched i dream a genie yeah like i i loved all that stuff yeah i i love the monsters i always watched the monsters thought they were hilarious so i Again, I was kind of looking forward to this. Again, whether you see Rob Zombie's name attached, you're like, oh, is this going to be like Blood and Guts mon Monsters right, or right. whatever? But yeah, he came out pretty early saying that it wasn't going to be like that, that he was going to yeah. keep it family friendly. Yeah. But what, then, I, but what I was going to... Well, go ahead and say what you're going to say. Well, I was just going to say that, um, you know, we got the trailer. <laughs> we got the trailer. Okay, so that's good. That's exactly what I was going to go into. I was going to say, do you feel like people not being so hard on this has to do with the fact that the trailer was so awful that it set us all up to think we were going to see the biggest train wreck movie of like the last 10 years i mean and it turned out to be eh, it's it's bad but it's not like that bad well i feel like the trailer definitely was a accurate representation of what the movie okay. was okay um i don't feel like it was misleading or anything i feel like what they showed was you know the different choices that he made but I have to there say there were choices that were made here. I have to say though, I feel like you know, m with making it his own, he did keep it like I can see where he was making it try to feel like the monsters, like the original monsters. A little bit. Um I feel like you know, I've been seeing a lot of people say that these are like not my words or anything, but I definitely agree with it about how if this had been made in the 90s, uh, you know, with like Cocos Pocus and Halloween Town and stuff like that, that people would love it. And, you know, it would go on to be one of those like classic Halloween movies that you watch every year or something yeah. like that. And I would agree with that. I feel like had this been made, you know. I, I think Hocus Pocus is... A little better. You said I think that. that I'm not a hocus pocus. You got people like so. Bette Midler and Sarah Jessica Parker kind of I feel like elevated that film a little bit more than mm -hmm. like a dis but yes, I do agree that this is very much a Disney Channel original film mm -hmm. that would happen in the nineties. So if you like the movies Halloween Town, I don't see how you can complain about the monsters because it's literally the same tone. Well, so like this movie is very visually 
Like yeah. it's visually, it's great. And I need to look up because I, I, you pointed it out when we were watching it's it. Like grainy. it's very grainy, mm-hmm. which is a you know it pretty much signifies that it was shot on film. It's very grainy. So I wonder if Rob Zombie has... shot this on film or not. I'm not sure because most everything shot digitally nowadays. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if he shot this on like yeah, 35 it's very millimeter. grainy, and it also just has kind of like a low, like I don't know the word for it, like low the quality. Fil- like, no, not low quality, but it's like the filter on it is yeah. It lofi. It, like I think it's you say, like the Instagram filter. Yeah, it's like a fill. It has extremely a saturated. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so I thought that that was an interesting choice. And I mean, I gotta like, I'm just gonna go out with all the positives. I feel like the like set design, the costumes, they were all fantastic. Like, it there's good. no. It was, it was visually appealing to look you, at. You can't deny like the costumes. Every like everybody looked great. You know, every little detail, like the the different sets and stuff. I mean, I thought that they were all really awesome and creative and fun, and I could see how i don't know it's like i think for me the problem was just the actual story like i i don't have a clue what the hell the story was even about i mean it was basically we had a lot of trouble paying attention also yeah (laughs) i mean i know well i i I know what it was about i mean it was about her finding him yeah it's a prequel it's a prequel to the show you know which i don't know if you're going to do this i don't feel like they're going to do a sequel to this but it's like why do a prequel? It just seems like an uh-huh. object because you can't include Eddie and you can't include, um, I forget the other girl that was with them in the show, her name, yeah, but I'm not you, sure you can't include some of the other characters from the TV show. So unless they're going to make a Monsters 2, well, I don't I'm feel sure like, they, I don't really feel like they will. Maybe they will. I, I don't mean, know. I f- he probably planned on it and I don't know if they will now with how yeah. it's, it depends on how it does on Netflix. I mean, if Netflix gives them money to do a second one, I guess he would do it, but yeah, I don't know. But you know, like but the I prequel said, choice was odd, and mm-hmm. they took way too long mm-hmm. to get to anything. It's like the last twenty minutes is them actually living in the house, right? Uh, which is what we just watched. We watched this over like two nights, actually, like two and a almost three nights. I would yeah, say. Yeah, we had to break it up a <laughs> lot. Uh, it's definitely too long. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> so you got an hour and a half of this movie, which is basically like Herman and Lily like courting each other, and then it was just a bunch of. Bunch of nonsense. Yeah, just (laughs) stuff that I just, yeah, I couldn't like focus on. And it's like, I feel like it could have been good because of the costumes and the set design and all of that kind of stuff. But it's like the, it just didn't, it wasn't telling the right story or it didn't have the right like side stories or I don't know, whatever. I just couldn't. You want to get into some of the performances real quick? So you got uh, Jeff Daniel Phillips as Herman. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, how was he as Herman to you? Uh, how was this performance? Did it fell in line with the old school Herman uh, Munster? I feel like it did. He's very obnoxious, but I feel like I remember him being kind of annoying and yeah. In the I feel original. like it was a little bit more exaggerated. Well, um, I think that that would and I uh, Fred Gwynn is the guy that played him in the original show, mm-hmm. and that's also the same guy that plays the. Um, dead is better guy from Pet Cemetery, gotcha. the older man from Pet Cemetery. Gotcha. Yeah. So, as far as the exaggerated, your exaggerated comment goes, if they are all for sure exaggerated, but I feel like it was very intentional. Yeah. Probably. Like that was the choice that they made, and you you have to remember the show. Like it, it just doesn't vibe with today's world. Like yeah. it doesn't have the same. That kind of stuff was funny back then, and now it's not so much funny. But, like, that exaggeration, like, the very just quirky, like... Yeah. Like, I don't know, just the stuff that they did. I I feel like it just has to do with it not working in today's world as well as it used to be. You think maybe they should have dialed it back slightly and maybe modernized it a little bit more instead of just going full into it and just exaggerating the hell out of it? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I feel like that was was He was very goofy to me as... And maybe the old school Herman move, like the baby's always like moving. Oh, 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 oh. I don't yeah, know. It I was just, just. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that was just a kind of Rob Zombie's take on it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that the the counts, the grandpa Daniel Roebuck played him. I thought he was pretty good, mm-hmm. you know, for. I, I don't feel like he was in it like a ton. Like he was kind of towards the end, but mm-hmm. I thought for what he had to do, he was good. 
Uh, Sherry Moon Zombie, mm-hmm. um, which, you know, of course, Rob has to cast his wife in everything he does. Mm-hmm. You got to respect okay. that. They're okay. married and they're mm-hmm. a team or whatever. Um, but she's playing Lily. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how old Sherry Moon is by this point. She has to be closing in on 50. But it just kind of felt weird for her to play like a supposed to be younger version of Lily. Yeah, I mean, it was fun. Um, but she's extremely... Um, I don't know if I want to say exaggerated, but Mm -hmm. she's obviously like trying very hard to capture the essence of this character. She's trying to be like quirky and yeah, yeah. I I don't know how I feel about her performance. It it was okay. She just has that old TV show. Yeah, like I know what they were. Do you think? Do you think she nailed it for what they were going for? She's definitely in the right movie. I feel like it could have. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like maybe she could have toned it down just a smidge, but again, I think that that's just that's just the vibe they were going for. I yeah, don't know. Could have been. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody was okay. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I guess my main our main takeaway is this movie isn't that bad, but it's also yeah. not that great either. Yeah. Um, it's, I definitely. Don't plan on watching it ever again. <laughs> and I probably won't get the Blu-ray. Yeah. I probably won't. Yeah. Maybe. If it's like at the Dollar Tree, I might pick it up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's uh I mean it's a bummer because like I said, I think that it could have it could have been cool. It could have been good just with, you know, all the work that they put into the yeah. one last thing I want to ask you, do you think it would have been better if the movie was in black and white? Because a lot of people were saying it could have been better if it was in black and white. There, do because mm. we talked about the colors being a big positive. So, would if we got the same movie but it was in black and white, would that have been That's very a lesser than about. experience of what we already got? Because we at least we had like the visual colors and all that stuff, right? But maybe that was a distraction, you know? Maybe, maybe. And, but then I'm like, okay, if it was in black and white, would I have been bored to death? Like. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess, yeah, my main takeaway here is if you like the old school cheesy Disney Channel original, like my mom's on a date with a vampire or that mummy thing under wraps or whatever, Halloween Town. A lot of people love Halloween Town. Mm -hmm. Um, I think you can vibe with this movie. Mm -hmm. I think you can vibe with this movie if you take yourself, plant yourself back in the 90s um, and just try to watch it from that perspective. I think you might have some enjoyment with it, but if you just if that doesn't sound good to you at all, then I just wouldn't recommend watching it. Yeah, to be honest, but yeah, uh, I wouldn't have been sad if I hadn't have seen it. But yeah, what, what's your what's your score here? I'm gonna give it a two point five. Okay, I'll give it a two point five as well. Yeah. Not not the worst thing I've ever seen in my life, but it's definitely far from the best. So yeah, uh, that is our review of the monsters. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Comment down below if you've watched the show. Again, it's on Netflix right now. The movie. Uh, the movie. Yeah. The movie. It was maybe a show. It, now maybe it's a movie. it would have been better if it was a show. Uh-huh. Maybe a limited series, ten episode arc. We get mm, to see the whole thing. I to. did. I will say when we got to the end. I was kind. I wanted that movie with them in the house and him going to work and them finding all that. It felt like That's they rushed true. through all that stuff. That's true. Them being scared of the humans and, and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then they just kind of rushed through it and ended it. And you could just feel like there was something else there. So I wanted that movie. They should have made the whole thing. Though. You know, we're wrapping this up. But um, as we talk about it, maybe there were just too many outside outside characters and stuff going on I, 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 to I think where it so. wasn't like as focused on them as it should have been. Yeah. Like you said, I once just, they, they got in the house and it was just them. Yeah. I don't know. It was weird, but when we were watching over there for the last, the last 20 minutes, I was like, I kind of like this. Okay. Mm-hmm. But it was like the first hour and a half wasn't the best, but yeah, that's interesting. Anyway, like comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, turn on the bell notifications and follow us on our social media accounts down below. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.